Hi, this is going to be my video response to MS Vlog support about what I find positive with about having MS. And I want I wanted my little sister to join me today because I thought that having an insight of a family member of someone with MS might be helpful to other people. Um, so this is my little sister. This is Noelle. She is my younger sister, and uh, she'll be answering the same question, what do you find positive about living with someone with MS? Um, when I saw the number two subject, which is what you find positive with being diagnosed with MS, I was a little skeptical. I mean, I, mean, I was in rehab and I wasn't feeling good and when you're in that stage you can't find anything positive you really can't it's you're in a like a dark tunnel and there is no light really but now that I'm home and I'm getting better and I'm starting to walk again I can see some positives I think the most positive thing is I relish everything now. Simple things like the taste of food, the time spent with my family, the my ability to walk, my ability to, like I've earned to take this step. I've earned the ability to walk again. I've earned the ability to sit on the couch with my family and and so everything is greener and more precious than it ever was before and I think with my age, learning that now is better because I'll have more time with this heightened sense of of gratitude and joy. So, I mean, that's something that's positive that I think other people without MS just fly by and they take things for granted all the time. So... Living, being a sibling, being a family member to someone with MS and seeing the good and the bad and the downfall, really, of someone, especially an older sister, what, what positives can you find from having someone with MS with you? I think it's made you a lot stronger towards how you think of other people think of you, if that makes any sense at all. Um... I think when we go to Walmart and you have a catheter in your wrist, and most people will probably think, oh my gosh, she's a cutter. And I don't think you care anymore. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. you know. And personally for me, I think most kids being my age, they would freak out having someone you know, in a wheelchair go with them or someone who has something retarded on their wrist go on. I just don't care anymore either. Let them think what they want to think. That's how I see it. You know, they're, they're not in what I would say our world, so they have no clue. They don't understand. That's the way I see it. Cool beans. True facts. Coming out of a horrible relapse and looking back on how it was and relishing everything that's coming my way now is something I don't think anybody else without a sickness can appreciate and it's walking and I mean I feel like I earned the right to walk again and other people especially my age early 20s go out and get smashed and 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 do retarded things it's just the way I view it now it's so trivial and the th things in life that are super important to me came through after this relapse and and it's just so recognizable now. So that's my video response with my little sister. Wait, wait, this side. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this side, this side. I don't know. Video um, box, that way. <laughs> Sidebars, that way. No, actually. It's this way. No, this way. Yep. <laughs> Sidebars, that way. Links on the sidebar. Links on the sidebar. I, I don't know what I'd link to. I don't know why. Bloopers. This, this you want bloopers? No. <laughs> <laughs>
this is our cat. She's in every <laughs> single one of our Maria's videos except for the one she's when she's in the hospital. Nice. This is her. I'll square her. Cat. Yeah. Cat. <laughs> she's always in my videos. <laughs> um, this is my little sister, and this is my cat. cat. True. True facts. <laughs> Little sister time. This is my arm. You can show me. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow, could that have been any perfect timing? <laughs>